friends. Today I'm reading Harriet Gets Carried Away by Jesse Seema. Harriet loved costumes. She didn't save them for Halloween or only to wear them to dress up birthday parties. Harriet wore costumes all the time. On the morning of our own dress-up birthday party, Harriet was a busy bee. We still need to pick up some snacks from the grocery store, her dad said. And lots of party hats, Harriet added. Her dads shared the look. Okay, they said, but don't get carried away. Harriet was sure she could manage that. She changed into her extra special errand running costume, straightened her bow tie, waddled down the street, through the subway. And into the store, her dad seemed to have the deli counter covered. So Harriet set out on a quest for the perfect party hats. But instead, she found something else. Harriet forgot all about the party hats. She waddled past the checkout lines through the city and out of town. Where are we going? Harriet asked excitedly. Back home, of course, a penguin answered. The city is a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. As the balloons floated farther from the city, Harriet's thoughts floated back to her birthday party. Excuse me, said Harriet. I don't think I belong here. That's okay, the penguins replied. Everyone feels like they don't fit in sometimes. Maybe you should lose the bow tie. But Harriet didn't care about fitting in. She cared about getting back to the store. So she straightened her bow tie. And hatched a plan. And another. Things were not going smoothly. Harriet was almost out of ideas when one emerged from the sea. Hey, said the orca, you're not a penguin. How did you know, cried Harriet. Penguins don't wear bow ties, he replied. Harriet realized this orca might ha just be her ticket home. She told him her tale of costumes and penguins and hot air balloons. She told them all about her family and her city and the party hat she needed to find. When her story was finished, she said, I could really use a lift. It just so happens I'm heading up north for a family reunion, replied the orca. I could drop you off along the way in exchange for that fancy red bow tie. This seemed to be a fair trade. As the orca swam, Harriet daydreamed. Once Harriet could make out the city in the distance, the orca came to a halt. This is as far as I can go, he said. So Harriet called on a favor from some friends she knew from the park. We'll take you home, they said. Harriet soared back into the store and headed straight for the party hats. It didn't take long to pick out the perfect ones. She found her dads at the deli, just where she had left them. Where did you sneak off to? They asked. I just went to get the party hats, said Harriet. Oh, 
and I could use a new bow tie. With hat in hand, Harriet waddled back through the subway, up the street, and into her room. She put on her birthday party costume, straightened her party hat, and headed up to the roof. The party was a great success, and no one got carried away. Except maybe Olivia.